It be time for another player review. Today we're going to focus on the 83 rated Lucas Moura who is currently extinct I believe. Extinct at 80k. So uh, yeah, interesting price tag for this card. Maybe you guys are watching this in the future where he's maybe a bit more expensive or more than likely you're watching it when he's uh, a bit cheaper. Um, in last year's Ultimate Team he was a centre forward as a base item and was incredibly popular and really really good in game so hopefully uh, even though he's a right for uh, right winger in this year's game he's still going to feel very very nice in actual matches and um, comes out of packs as a right mid but i have converted him to a right forward because i want to play the 4 3 2 1 so we can try him out in more advanced roles anyway uh, you've seen the team we're going to be using him him in sorry this is what his card looks like. 4 star, 4 star, very nice for a winger as well as high, medium work rates. In terms of traits, there really isn't anything to discuss, but in terms of in-game stats, there's plenty. So um, pace column, nice acceleration, very high acceleration of 95 and good sprint speed of 89. So he should reach his max speed very quickly and in theory should feel very, very quick off the mark. His shooting stats for a, a right winger are actually very nice as well. And we're going to give him the dead eye chem style to boost them even further. So I'm hoping he scores plenty of goals for us. Uh, the same, to be fair, can be said for his passing. Crossing rating of 73 is pretty average, but uh, his short passing stat of 74 is all right, and it's going to be boosted by plus 15, thanks to the chem style as well. The dribbling department looks outstanding. Elite agility of 93, brilliant balance of 92, and a very good in-game dribbling rating of 88. And also, 82 composure on a winger, that's actually pretty high, so... Uh, very, very happy with that whole column, to be honest. And um, physically as well, looking very, very good. Really good jumping of 92. So aerially, it'll be interesting to see how he gets on, considering he's five foot nine. And uh, stamina of 75, pretty average. Strength of 58, not, not terrible to be honest, but um, also not too high. Pretty average strength. But um, interestingly, his aggression's rather high for a winger. Like it's not extremely high, but it's high for a pacey winger. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how that strength and aggression combination does indeed. Um, get on in game so uh let's do that right now let's get some matches let's test lucas out for the brazilians debut we come up against this it's actually a really really nice premier league slash bundesliga hybrid he's got the likes of mana in who's probably worth more than my full team he's also got nabry and uh, a couple of other pretty good players as well davison sanchez i believe is also very expensive at the current time don bella has got lucas into a bit of space here up against van Arnold. let's see the pace then lucas because we know you've got it can you, he's doing well to hold off on Arnold as well. Puts the ball inside to Martial and oh wow, I've absolutely bottled that. I've absolutely bottled that. I should have took more to, oh wow, no I didn't. Well, I mean I kind of did, I should have scored there, but at the same time, it was a deflection rather than me just hitting it wide, which I actually thought I did initially. Oh, here's a breakaway opportunity. Martial flicks it in, Lucas with a chance, oh, we should be scoring there. Lucas tries to get inside. Gets the shot away, left footed, and that one ends up in the back of the net. Nice finish there. Shows some really good bounce to stay on his feet despite the push from a defender. And then just powers the ball into the left side of the net, giving the keeper no chance. 1-0. Well, halftime has come around, and it's just 1-0. Not a massive scoreline, but um, I feel confident in this game that we can definitely extend our lead if we are a bit more clinical in front of goal. Nice. Here's an opportunity. Great ball from St. Maximin. And now Lucas... Has a great chance. Keepers off his line. We try to dink. Oh, and it's a very good finish too. That's a very, very nice finish because the keeper got very close there to closing us down. But uh, Lucas has just timed that perfectly. Well, I mean, I've timed it per per perfectly and Lucas has executed it well. But um, yeah, very nice chip. Very, very nice finish under pressure there. Look at that. Just the right time. Marcial finds Lucas who tried to get around his man there, but Sanchez just bumps him off. Lucas dinks the ball inside for Martial to get onto the end of. It's a nice through ball, but we just unfortunately couldn't pull away from the other centre back. Nice. Nice. Lucas pings it across the box, and there's Martial. 3 1, and that should be the game buried now. Nice pass across the box from the Brazilian, and uh, Martial puts himself in the right area at the right time and gets a tap in. Chance. Lucas in the box. Oh, he's done well. And there's another. And now the game is certainly over, which is what I wanted from the second half. Like the first half was very cagey, a bit end to end, but um, I was I felt confident. And uh, in the second half, as soon as we got the first goal, um, my opponent's just not been able to handle us. And there is the full time whistle. So after a pretty meh first half, um, we've just come out and 
absolutely battered the opponent in at the second 45. And Lucas Moura was definitely the star of the show in that second half as well. So a uh, very good outing for him. And uh, his weak left foot has actually been very good. I know it's a four-star weak foot, so it was never going to be terrible. But I'm um, very impressed with the left, head, uh, left peg so far. Ooh, finally, we got a game. Here we go. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, this guy's got a Ronaldo. That's the first one I've seen in this year's FIFA. Also got an Inform Lozano, Dybala, Inform Ansu Fati. Um, it's a, a very good team. I'm a, I'm a bit worried. It's a really good team. Probably one of the best ones I've faced so far this year. Nice, Lucas. Come on, get on the edge. Get on the inside here. Can you find the right pass? You can, but San Maximin shot. Fortunately, he's closed down. So, uh, half time's come around, and as you can see, the first half has been an absolute battering. We have been dominated from start to finish. So, uh, we need to be good. We need to be better, sorry, in this second 45, because uh, otherwise this game could really get out of hand very, very quickly. But um, fair play, my opponent's actually quite good at the game, and yeah, his team is, is unbelievable too. Here we go. Lucas links up with Martial. Here's an opportunity. Martial got it into the box to so San Maximino, and we've equalised. Perfect start to the second half after being absolutely dominated for the first 45. Martial plays it down the wing. And here's Lucas Moura opening his legs. Here's a chance. Can we get on the inside? We can. Ball inside. Oh, we should have scored again. Just once again, another very big AI block. And Dumbella hoofs the ball forward. This one's for Lucas to chase. And Lucas will actually get on the end of this one. Here's a chance. Lucas. Ah. Oh, dragged miles wide. And Didi finds Lucas, who dinks it into the box. Chance, oh, Wijnaldum well, just couldn't quite connect with it. And there's full time. The game ends in a 1-1 scoreline. And although a draw is never the ideal result, I am actually really happy with that performance because the first half, my opponent absolutely dominated. So for me to come back into that game, I'm pretty happy. And uh, despite Lucas not getting amongst the goals in that game or getting credited with an assist, I actually thought he had a really positive impact on the game. And I'm happy with his performance overall. On another day, probably should have had a goal. Um, I feel like that chance we had where we broke away probably should have at least been on target, but it is what it is. On another day, we maybe can win that game, but on another day, we could have been smashed about 5-0 in that game. We really, really could. We had to do so much defending. So, after a few more outings with this Lucas Moura item, it's time to discuss his performances. It's time to, you know, actually review him, which is what you guys are here for. So, uh, straight up, very good card. Very fun item as well. I really did enjoy using this card because his on-the-ball ability is to a very, very high standard, um, especially this early into the game. His dribbling feels awesome. Um, obviously, very quick in game, and you saw that in the clips. He definitely has breakaway ability, and his positioning and run-making, I also found to be very good. And when you've got a player who makes good runs, gets into good areas, and is very quick, you know chances are going to be created for both him and the players around him. And um, When it comes to shooting, I thought he was good for a winger. He's finishing to a very high standard for a winger, to be honest. And he's also got really nice shot power. His power shots, though, they're, they're very powerful, but not as accurate as some other players, which is a bit of a shame. But um, still, the guy can definitely score goals, and uh, I'm very happy with that. Would I use this guy as a striker? Probably not, to be honest, but um, has very good goal-scoring ability for a winger. Um, passing was all right. Um, just not super consistent to be honest occasionally would put through a brilliant through ball but on other occasions uh, it just was going to the opposition the same can be said about his crossing as well occasionally brilliant cross on on another day um not a great cross but um short passing for the most part was very good and he linked up with martial very very nicely the dribbling is definitely the best thing about this card and um yeah it's just awesome like, it really really is he feels great at this stage of the game awesome agility really nice balance and uh, his ball control felt great too so a very fun player to have in possession of the football and then physically, um, I was kind of impressed with him, to be honest, because uh, he actually wins a lot of headers. His heading accuracy isn't great, but um, wins plenty of aerial duels, which is quite nice. Mainly against full-backs, um, centre-backs probably are going to beat him in the air, but um, did well to, to win a few, which was very, very nice. Stamina wasn't particularly a massive issue. He does only have 75 stamina, but um, even with me running with him quite a bit, he didn't seem too tired towards the end. Like, don't get me wrong, his stamina bar was down a bit, but... He wasn't absolutely knackered, which is what I was expecting, especially with the amount that I was running with him, and you'll have seen that in the footage. But um, overall, a very good card, and a very fun one too. I actually had more fun using this Lucas Murray card than I did when I used Gareth Bale in this same position, so uh, something to note there. And that's just down to the dribbling. He's just a fun play to have in possession of the ball. Very good card, and I definitely will use it again. He's he's not as OP as he was in last year's FIFA, but... Um, it's still pretty good, and I can see it being a very popular item in this year's Ultimate Team. 
So guys, those are my thoughts on the H3 rated Brazilian winger. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like on it. Comment below your thoughts and who you'd like to see me review next. And I'll catch you in the next one.